Yo, I just want to make a quick response video to Emily Coling. Um, she's made a video. Basically, your dad is a dumbass, and why would he not investigate? And why would he not know that your brother is drunk and on drugs? How would he not know that? And just start grabbing you from the back of the head and punching you from the back of the head. Like, no cap, I would like to fight your dad and your brother. Like, even at the same time, I don't even care. Like, for real. Anyways, um, that's just messed up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know, they might be good people, cause like you said, but even if they are, like, well, you gotta ask questions. Like, you can't be stupid, like, why did she call you? Why did she call you a pussy? Like, what did you do? You see what I'm saying? He didn't say that he was telling you that, you know, KYS. You see what I'm saying? He didn't say, he mentioned any of that. He just said, oh, she called me this word. Like, does he not know that you're drunk and on drugs? You see what I'm saying? Um, basically, uh, it's, it's a really stupid situation, but but yeah, and then he start, they call the cops on you after the fact. You see what I'm saying? That they're, they're like they're, something's wrong with them. They obviously have mental issues or something. Um, you know, everyone does, but you're gonna like stoop to that. I mean, you're gonna stoop down to that level to be like, oh, let me attack my daughter who's in a wheelchair on legs, knowing that. Yeah, sometimes she says bad words, but she's also paralyzed in a wheelchair. Do you understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm getting at? Like, bro, she tells you to get out of her room, you dumbass. Just get out. Like, quit doing drugs, quit drinking. You're not in your common sense. You're not in your right mind, bro. Your emotions are all over the place like a 14-year-old bitch. You know what I'm saying? You're fucking dumb, bro. Anyways, I didn't mean to say... 14 year old B if you are 14 year old <laughs> anyway like uh, you know even I have my own mental issues you know what I'm saying everybody has a, to deal with their own mental shit you know I have a lot I have a lot more than most people mental problems but I, I, don't, I still don't do stupid shit like that you know I verbally communicate it's communication if you don't have verbal communication then you know you don't know what's going on you're going to react to any emotion Especially if you're drunk and on drugs, you see what I'm saying? So, you know, you got to ask questions. Did the dad ask your brother, how come he called you a pussy? Then he would understand, oh, it's because you were telling her to go, you know, KYS. I don't know if I can say the words on here. She said the words in her videos monetized, so. I was going to say KYS. If you don't know KYS, just watch the Emily Colling video. This is a response to that video. But no cap. Yeah, I would straight up fight your dad or your brother. Together at the same time, I don't care how big they are, none of that, none of that shit. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? But that's really messed up. Then they call the cops on you like you did something wrong. Because <laughs> they were saying, because they were saying like, oh, she's going to call on us, so we got to call first. You know what I'm saying? That, that stupid shit. It's dumb. It's a messed up situation, like, all around. But I haven't finished watching the video. I'm at the part where the ambulance is coming to her house. And this is, she just uploaded the video yesterday. She's turned off the comments uh, yesterday, but you know, it's all good or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's dumb. People can't comment. I'm like one of the only ones that make a video about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I make a video about things I watch. Because I have my own opinion on shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if they have mental issues, it's different. A lot of people I know have mental issues. They might be mental people. You shouldn't be living like that with mental people unless you have to. You see what I'm saying? Because there's going to be problems all the time. And I know your brother's got mental issues, even if he's not mental, because he's drunk and on drugs. You see what I'm saying? Those people are going to have mental issues, because they're, they're not in their right mind. Like I said, they're not in their music, common sense, none of that. Um, but yeah, I might add some more to this video right now. I'm just like I said, I'm still watching it, so I'm going to pause this video. I might come back to it right now. No, 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 she don't want to press charges, because that's her family. She, know, she don't have to press charges. I do understand that. She's not faking it, I'm telling you. She don't have to press charges, because she's not going to press charges. Oh, that's my family, you see what I'm saying? And that's uh, domestic abuse. But you don't still, you see what I'm saying? But you still don't press, because after the fact, you're like, oh, I love them. You love people regardless, that's your family, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, the state is pressing charges. The state wants to get their money, you know what I'm saying? And I don't blame the state, because these people do need to get press charges against, even though... You know, you wouldn't because that's your family. I understand that 100%. Like I said, I wouldn't do that if it was my family too. But the state, you know, they're trying to get their money too. 
and that's just probably a good thing because they need some type of repercussions to what they did. That's like they're just gonna get away with it because they're you, you, their family. Now let the state press charges on them fools. So she's saying she didn't press charges because it eliminates the ability for her to go back to her house. But but it's not just that; it's that also has his family. But she did bring up another good point. When you go to you, when you charge her, she she has to go to court and see their stupid faces, which you know I wouldn't want to do either. That's dumb, especially if you're like if you're that mad about it, and you're that against them. Yeah, definitely just stay away from from the court because like like you said, the name's gonna pop up and all of that. And and she said she, the brother already has assault charges on her when she was fourteen, but she wasn't paralyzed when she was fourteen. But still, that's messed up. She said the brother's done it five or six times since then. Like holy shit, bro! Like why you why were you why are you still in the same house on the same roof as someone that's assaulted you like seven, six, seven times? You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, you should have left a long ass time ago. Mm. Hey, tell your brother what's up. I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't have to know you. I don't have to know your life to see that your brother is a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. I can see that from way over here. Miami. You know what I'm saying? Get straight leap, straight G that. You know what I'm saying? Straight thug that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you know, just be yourself. You don't have to believe in all that G, G unit thug life shit bullshit. That's for, that's for pussies. You know what I'm saying? Okay, facts, you are a victim, Emily Cohen, but you should have left a long time ago. You're living under the same room with somebody that's already assaulted you like six or seven times, huh? What the hell? Sleeping with one eye open on that arm. Oh! You got the job. You're doing good at your job, okay? I see you. She was really depressed um, at her job. And she's already saying bye to people and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? That's how messed up situation she was put in. Jesus Christ. Hey, if you guys need help, make don't hesitate to make go for me. Don't don't be scared to make ask for help. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to let people know what's going on in your life. Like you don't have to, but don't be pride ain't nothing. Pride don't exist. You know, it don't have to exist. You know, I don't believe in pride myself personally. If I win, I win, I lose, I lose. Everybody, it happens to everybody. Everybody wins sometimes, everybody loses sometimes. That's just the name of the game. Okay. Anyways, guys, that's all I'm gonna say for right now, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what's good in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? Check the links in the description. Uh, I already made this video eight minutes long, so I'm gonna stuff it with a bunch of ads, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But mostly what, what I said was, no cap, son! Peace out, bitch!